What is up, my e-bike peeps? I'm on my way to... Damn, my son had gummies on the ground. Ew. My apartment. But I'm on my way to take the apocalypse to Pizza Hut for dinner. Since apparently our food was freaking stolen. The guy, he, ride, he drives a red fucking Ford Explorer. Like he, we wait, we, my wife ordered something from the sheet. And she, when I was pulling up, because I was coming back in from getting me some Tylenol from the store, I saw the guy right here. Like at the curve, and my wife was like, he burst open the door, she's like, I never got the food. She said, she said it was dropped off, but she never got it. Which is really fucked up. They got us our money refunded. And... We reported his ass, because it's people like that that fuck it up for the rest of us delivery drivers. You don't have to steal fucking food. If you want something that bad, 9 times out of 10, I don't mind helping. You ask, I'm going to give it to you. Is it 9 times out of 10 chance? I'm going to say yes. It's hot. Okay, you're working. You're delivering. I understand. Why well, said her friends that their food got stolen from DoorDash. I'm with Postmates. Postmates, it kind of fucks up our market because there's so few of us and you know, we're not really always out there. The fucking red Ford Explorer. There's a red Ford Explorer right there. She said it's a chubby black guy. Who fucking steals fucking food, dude. Really, dude. Fucking really, man. But today we're riding with my new tire liners. Gotta just sit back and enjoy the ride. Maybe something crazy will happen. I didn't fully charge my bike because I just got back in here and used about this shit. So I got to charge for like 10 minutes. And other than that, you know, I had to go grab dinner. Motherfuckers stealing people's food that we paid for and we ordered. Ruining my fucking, you know, the part for the Postmates market. You don't have to steal. There's no need for other. It's fucking crazy. Anyways, that's what happened over here, for my end. Sorry if I came up with the attitude voice. It's kind of aggravating. This is $50 worth of food. We got our $50 refund, so we're straight. You're looking like you're stupid. Oh crap. DoorDash, Uber Eats blocked my account. I was like, I wonder why. What the fuck do you expect? Michael, that's his name. Michael. Right, they want to post probably DoorDash. The other guy's about to be this fucking fool. Still not the mouth of people who are paying for that service. It makes people like me look bad. The other delivery drivers, the other delivery bikers.
Yeah, what's up, babe? Okay, well that's fine. I'm on. Let me get here first, okay? Oh, so we get a whole fucking pizza then. Personal pen. Okay, well that's good. Well, I'm in. Let me get up here real quick then. That'll do. Alright, now I'll be back in a minute. I love you. Bubba. My wife and my son's over there fucking hungry. Niggas over here fucking stealing people's fucking food. Man, what the fuck? But my old lady said she'll see chokes on that burger. All those fucking burgers. Bloody man, come on. My son and shit sitting there waiting to fucking get his fucking burgers and shit. This nigga in here fucking stealing people food. Are you fucking kidding me, Mr. Michael? Really, nigga? Why would they be in your account? Who the fuck steals food out of the mouths of. Hard-working people and kids is that. Terry's leaning on the throttle today, ain't he? Hell yeah, I'm pissed. That shit hurts me, man. They smashed the bikers. Like holy crud. Santa <laughs> got 
I really just need to go around so I could probably pop this bitch in reverse and hit up that way. That's what I really need to do. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bro. We didn't get to charge you enough. I'm sorry. Fifty fucking dollars, though. Worth the fucking food. God, you guys just don't know how much. That's a lot of money in this day and age, man. Excuse my very verbal language. I'm very sorry. Just very aggravated. We're here. Oh man, freaking wow, dude. Wow. Your destination is on the left. Please don't ask me to work here. Probably 70. No, I think I got 60. Oh, that's so cool. The quiet scooter. Guys, your boy Terry is aggravated. Don't pay no mind to me being aggravated. Just think about it, man. Our food just got stolen. Holy crap. <clears throat> All right, we are back, guys. Oh. Gotta get back and get this fool home. Oh, cool, I found this out. Oh, shit. Get out of this home. Don't go to the back way. Dude, it's freaking stolen. Talking with those guys for a minute. Trying to get home. America, bro. What are we coming to? That is crazy. Guys, let's enjoy the trip home.
Okay, I had to pick up a wing. I forgot to pick up. Yeah. I'll do this way again. Don't want to fall on that. Is it a hard pull? Tell you, man, this shit is crazy. I was supposed to be going back to lay down and play pull up. What happens if you steal? Make it harder on other people. Don't steal. Be a good Samaritan. Don't be like our buddy Mr. Michael C. No fucking bullshit. Stealing people's food. And just stuff in your face in your fucking SUV. Your little fucking Ford Explorer. Be a good Samaritan. Just give people the fucking shit that they just paid for. As a matter of fact, it's not about being a good Samaritan, it's because what you're, that's what you're supposed to do as a job. I'm like, wow, you know, you make it harder for me other carriers to actually get out here and make money because people don't trust us so why are you like stealing out of my family's fucking mouth I have to provide for my wife and my son and you're fucking stealing dude really really man I'm glad I'm not like that as long as I'm bringing like the good juice to the table so I guess that really matters at this point as long as I know I'm not the one out there stealing. Say yeah. Not because I see you. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat all them chic burgers that we ordered the fucking chic. I'm not gonna eat all them motherfuckers. You said all those food, some big ass burgers. No, I'm not gonna eat all of them. Um, I don't like letting food go to waste. So yes, I will occasionally give away free food. I will occasionally buy people I see on the streets free fucking drinks. But I don't want you to steal. You're gonna steal from the wrong motherfucker and they're gonna find you and they're gonna fuck your shit up. Let's just put it like that. It's really worth it. So, sorry, Lizard. <laughs>
I built this one for less than a thousand. Yeah. Oh shit. Ooh, I gotta get some shots though. Yeah, I built mines for less than a grand. Well, I built mines. Well, I mean, I bought the bike off of somebody and then I just, you know, threw the attachments and everything on. I had a lot of people ask, telling me I should build them and everything. Mines get a little bit over 44. That's the fast I send it. Yeah. Yeah, one night, all I know is I was going through here and one night. Huh? Oh, you oh, this electric, but I know. Oh, yeah, today, cause I just had to leave the house. Um, uh, I don't really know, cause I rode mine's the Regency the other day all the way on the south side, and I came back and my battery was still on green. Dang. Yeah. I yeah, I got this kit off of eBay. I got this motor off of eBay, and then I. My original battery I got off of eBay, but I just up How much the kit cost? Like 200 and something. Now how much you charge to put one on? I'll probably charge you like 20, 30 bucks. What? You ain't gonna charge your arm in the bike. The bike and the car. What's your phone? Uh, 904. You, you got, got a phone? You got a credit. You got, you got no car. Now my phone in the house. <sighs> no. -uh. I left my pen at the house. I mean, if you wanna run by and get it, I'll wait. So I'll stay right at the road. Not even that long. It ain't even take me that long to put this one together. You just, when I put it together, you gotta charge it before you just ride on it. I need to open up the shop, guys. I need to get some ice cream. The right people, I can't open up a shop. Man, that thing's big. This thing is huge. I just like how the back just stretches out. That's why I want a longer rack. I got my new tail light too because my other one flew off a couple of days ago. These bikes for more than what they're worth. Like I saw a guy in Columbus, Georgia selling a mongoose frame for a thousand bucks. It's not worth that. These are worth a hundred, a hundred and fifty to two hundred. Yeah, with tires like this, yeah. Because the stock, I changed out the stock tires. Because the stock tires are heavy. I, my, I had to change out the front one because it was heavy on the motor, so I put a lighter one in. And then I just had some tie liners redone in my rear one today. But yeah, for like the Mongoose Hitch and the Mongoose Dolomite and the Dozer, they're all worth around like 120, 200. And it's, yeah. But that's how much the. I got the 48 volt 1000 watt kit because, like I said, I like to get around town. And then I got a 20 what amp. I think it's best to get done with the gas. The gas, you get really good mileage, but it's too much maintenance. The only problems I had with this, yeah, flats, which is why I changed my tires and then you loose know spokes. How to do the gas I know how to build the gas ones, but it's been a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, well, you would want to put a gas motor on one of these? Huh? You would want. I was wondering which one would be better. I've been why well, gonna lie, I've been wanting to do a hybrid build with one of these with a gas motor and an electric one, yeah, but I'm gonna tell you what, ooh, I don't know because I I haven't uh, it's rarely yeah. people who've done it. It's called the hybrid because you get ten times more range on that too. Well, yeah, shoot, I mean I say electric because it's quiet and you put a motor, a gas motor on something like this, I feel like the cops would be all on you. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you think so? Yeah, I mean with this one they don't really bother me too much and then I had some I ran into some cops up at the park in Riverside. I was like they like it because it's quiet and it's not noisy. I'm gonna call you man. I'm gonna be a guy that's Yeah, just hit me up when you're ready so I could walk you through because you're gonna have to get torque arms too if you're gonna get like a powerful electric motor. Because yeah. that's gonna hold the motor back into place. So when because when you're going all that torque, the motor tries to tries to spin loose, so I had to put some torque arms on it. And it locks it down. And if you need to change the tire and it's hard to get the torque arm off, you know, you got my number, so you can call me. I got you. You need to get to the garage. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All righty. Never really 
thought about it because I don't have the right hands, man. It'd be so much easier if I got the right amount of people and the right people, you know, that's willing, the people that's will, really willing to do something like that. I would open up a garage just like in Cali, in Arkansas. They got the freaking DIY stations and the stores that work on electric bikes only. But I wanted to work on the skateboards and stuff too. That's going to be my blog for the day, guys. And y'all take care. And ride bikes.